Hey guys, how's it going? So Austin here. So real quickly, uh, today is the day, right? Today is the day that Terra Luna is uh, going up for vote, is specifically a governance vote fork, right? Um, and the hard fork really means, I'll show you this right here, move up, uh, just a minute, uh, right here. So a hard fork effectively means that they're going to they're going to split off and create a brand new to be known as Terra Classic, okay? Going under the symbol LUNC and the new token that spin that has spun off from this fork will be known as Luna. Now, for those of you guys who may remember, this is effectively the same thing that happened with Ethereum years and years ago where there where there was Ethereum that that got spun off to Ethereum Classic and then we have Ethereum as it exists today. Now that that resulted from a, a hack, if you will. And uh, so this is a little bit different situation in, in, in the circumstances that brought it about, but it's effectively the same thing that Ethereum did years and years ago. So today is the day. That's the point. Keep an eye out for news. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to this channel, uh, my channel, and I'll keep you updated with all things going on with Terra. And this is a crazy time. This is a really fast evolving situation. I've uh, got a lot of moving parts here. By the way, there is a uh, another interesting uh, scenario out here that 90% of the preliminary vote participants are against the proposal to fork Luna. Everything I just told you about, there's this preliminary vote out there, 90% are against it. What do you think? Drop in the comments below. Are you for it? Are you against it? There's a completely different uh, proposal or idea that's floating as well. <clears throat> that's not, that's one that, that really most people really are for, and that is to burn the billions and billions of Luna tokens that were dumped, that they were created and dumped on the market to try to stave off the collapse of the UST, of UST, which was Luna's stable coin. That's actually what most people really want to happen. Will that happen? Will it not? You know, that has yet to be seen right here, right now, though, today is the day, um, on whether they are going to vote with a governance vote to create this hard fork. So if this hard fork governance vote fails, right, then uh, we'll have to go a different direction. So that's what I've got for you right here, right now, what's going on as far as kind of the news, today is the day. If you look at the price action of Terra right here, right now, real time, as of the recording of this video, uh, it's up 6%, but we've been we've, we've in classic fashion with Terra since all of this has transpired and come around. There's been a tremendous amount of volatility in, in the uh, trading of the coin. I mean, you know, you can see it's gone all the way up here to 209, all the way down to 18. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of swing trading and day trading going on with this right here, right now. In fact, I personally know of some people that are doing this uh, and, and that are swing trading and day trading. It's just become, kind of become that. Also, what's kind of evolving is, um, is Terra Luna ever really going to make it back? I mean, there, it was at, at you know, before the, all of this transpired, Terra Luna was trading at north it, north of $100, right? And now it is, uh, it is you know, we got three zeros and then, you know, 1887. Uh, so it's definitely in the realm now of kind of a community token. And that seems to be almost literally the flavor of the flavor. Sorry about that. I got a call coming in. The, the flavor of what... Um, everything is looking like okay so what it might what it what it might become all right we'll see how this all plays out as always appreciate you have a good one and thanks for giving me a few minutes of your day hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so